Now just so we can get a little bit more familiar with this environment, if you go to View, File System Support, then you can see that these are the different file systems and you know these are the different things that you can do with them. Uh, just real quick, these EXT2s, don't mind like uh, most of these right here. Most of these are old legacy or you don't really use them that often anymore. All these EXTs, um, EXT2, you don't really see a lot anymore, but EXT3, this is a file system that's used on Linux a lot. EXT4 is the more modern one for Linux. So if you want a file system, um, you know, for example, to plop on your USB that's going to be compatible with all versions, then you can use this. But this ext4 is the more modern one if you don't have to worry about compatibility. If you want to make a file system on your USB drive that's going to be compatible with any operating system, Linux, Windows, uh, Mac, then you probably want to use FAT32. And whenever you buy a USB drive, they're probably all going to have FAT32 or NTFS maybe installed. But these are the ones that are kind of you know cross-platform. So don't worry about those right now. Now another thing is whenever you have your device selected, if you just go to view, device information, it's going to give you some basic information about this device and this is just the USB drive, this is the model, size, this is the path to it, so on and so forth. And to hide that, just go to view, device information again, and boom. Alright, so right now, like I said, it came with one huge partition on it and we want to get rid of that because, you know, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create your own. So if you select this partition before we delete it, let's just actually just view some information about it. So partition information and we see okay so this partition uses the FAT32 file system in other words we can pretty much use this USB drive on any computer. So Windows, uh, Linux, Mac, it's going to be compatible with anything and for this partition it's pretty much taking up the entire USB drive. So if you, you know, want to put another operating system on here or something else, then you can't really do that. So let's close out of this. And all right. So we want to delete this partition, but before we can just delete it, as you see, hmm, delete's grayed out right here. We actually need to unmount the file system. And that pretty much just means unlock it. So again, select your partition, go to partition unmount. And then what this is going to do is it's going to unlock the file system right here. So now if we have it selected, we can delete it. Where's delete? Right there. All right. Now with this gparted, what you do is you actually write what you want to do and then you click this check uh, check mark right here and it says apply all operations. So if you just hit this, are you sure you want to delete this partition? Yes, we do. And it's going to say, okay, it is accomplished or whatever, the little indicator. So close out of that. So now our USB drive has no partitions, no parts. It's just a blank, you know, piece of hardware. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually make two partitions on here. We're going to say that, I don't know, maybe you want to put um, Ubuntu or some operating system on one part, and we just want to use the other part for storage. Maybe you want to save files for school or something. Well, the first thing I recommend doing is actually creating a partition table. Now, this is just part of the device that keeps track of all your partitions that you're about to make and it's really easy. So if you go to device, create a partition table, then you can just say MS-DOS, that's the most common one, and hit apply. Did I hit it? Alright, there we go. So now we have a partition table, now we can start creating partitions and it's going to be able to uh, keep track of them. So in order to create a partition or a chunk on your USB drive, just select this on OK unallocated space and hit partition new. I believe you can also click this. Huh. All right, click that nice little icon instead. And now it's saying, okay, you want to create a chunk on here. I need some information about it. So first let's just go ahead and give it a size and I'll just say um, like eight gigabytes. So eight, one, nine, two. All right. So that's how big this partition is going to be. And whenever you click this, it's going to auto fill in. So we're taking up um, you know about a fourth of this USB drive right here now if you want you can actually take this and slide it but I like having it nice and neat so I like doing it manually alright so you always want to align to this right here because it just is 
faster performance whenever they're aligned um, to the proper megabyte. So always keep that. Remember, we can create it as a primary partition. Looks good. The file system, uh, we might as well keep this as ext4. Again, ext3 is kind of the standard for Linux, but ext4 is good for more modern systems where, you know, we don't really need the standard. And the last thing we're going to do is we're just going to give it a label. So I, let me actually say that I want to install Kali on here. So I'm just going to name it Kali and hit add. So create the partition and of course hit this checkbox and hit apply and it's going to go ahead and create. And it actually takes like, um I don't know, maybe a minute or two. All right, so it took about 40 seconds, looking good. We now have one partition on our USB drive. But now I actually want to create another one, so I don't know, maybe I want to store some files on it for school. So just hit new partition, and for this, I will give it, um, I don't know, a little bit smaller, so 4096. And for this, since I want to use this on Linux and Windows, I'm actually going to use FAT32. And I'll just say, um, like school, whatever, name it, whatever you want, and hit add. So now if I hit check, apply, it's going to make this partition as well. All right, looking good. Now close out of this, and boom, looking sweet. All right, so remember, this device was SDB. Our hard drive was SDA, and this USB drive was SDB. So now that we created two partitions, that's why we have these numbers, SDB1 and SDB2. If we were to create another partition, maybe for, I don't know, some other uh, distribution of Linux, then it would be SDB3. But now, let me just close out of this completely and check it out. So if I just look at this visually, we can see that it's pretty much visualizing it as two separate devices. So even though that this is one USB drive, since we partitioned it, it's essentially looking at two separate devices. So this could be, like I said, operating system. This could be all of your schoolwork, all of your personal files. I don't know, maybe you're working on a website, whatever. So there you go. That's the basics of how to take a device or a drive and break it up or partition it into separate chunks so you can keep your files separate from one another. And uh, yeah, there you go. So thank you guys for watching. See you next time.